Did you know that you can activate fireworks in Red Dead Online and not only, because look at this. Definitely feels like Christmas, but anyway, fireworks not only look cool, but also activating them will help you to complete call to arms maps, especially if you are a beginner, because you also will receive a lot of overpowered weapons unavailable for low levels, including dynamite arrows for bow and explosive ammo for different weapons. So you can make fireworks on any out of seven merry call to arms maps, which are winter variants for call to arms maps. To do so, you need to destroy three special targets. On some maps like Emerald Ranch or New One Annensburg, they look like practice targets for bow. And actually finding them is pretty easy, because they not only glow when you are using eagle eye, but also auto aim works on them. On other maps like Coulter, Hanging Dog Ranch or Adler Ranch, you need to find and destroy three small red birds instead. And it's a little bit harder, because yes, they still glow when you are using in eagle eye, but you cannot find them with help of auto aim. And they have quite a lot of different possible locations, but you still can easily find them all before first wave of enemies will even begin to get some cool looking fireworks and receive some powerful ammo. By the way, I will show you all possible spawn points of such birds on Adler Ranch, because this is my favorite call to arms map, it just looks beautiful, and actually a lot of people are asking in the comments about this specific map. But first, here is a small trick that will help you if you will have some issues. For example, there will be a, some spawning location that is super hard to find. What you can do is skip preparation and die immediately when first enemies will appear. Then restart the call to arms map. Because each time when you restart in the mission, spawns are changing randomly. Anyway, on Adler Ranch, first of all, check the big house where Sadie and her husband are living. By the way, I checked and they are not at home for some reason. Maybe in basement, because it's locked. Anyway, there are four possible bird locations. One is on a chimney. Second one can be sitting right here on the window from the front side. Next one can be found on the other side of this building, also sitting on the window. And the last one can be found inside of the house. Two more birds can be found in this smaller building where deers are living. One outside, right here and the other one inside, and actually for some reason this spawn location is the most common in my experience. Anyway, next bird can be found nearby, sitting on this toilet. I guess it's a toilet. This one is easy to find because it's glowing and you can see it from big distance, but next one is much harder to find because it's also in the toilet. Why do they have two toilets, by the way? Like, what are they, some kings or nobles, this Adler family? But anyway, it's on the other side of the house, you know, close to the main entrance. Bird can spawn inside of this, let's call it a small building, so it might be hard to see a glowing from distance and I guess you have to go and check it manually. Just imagine visiting toilet in the middle of the night and finding a pretty big red bird that, that explodes. Merry Christmas! Anyway, the last bird can be found on a big stone from the western side of a ranch. So there are nine possible bird locations total. I've also heard that bird can spawn on a big tree close to the main house, but I never see it myself in many many runs. So I hope this small tip will help you to complete Call to Arms map or at least reach wave 7, because Rockstar this week is giving Morales West as a reward for reaching wave 7 in any Mary Call to Arms map. And if you need more advices, I suggest you to go and watch guide for Call to Arms map map that you can see on your screen now. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.